Hello and welcome to the channel and welcome today to Dark End by Codot Games. This is just released on Steam and it is a classic 2D RPG. So I thought I'd give it a quick look over. Only problem I've found with it so far is I cannot get the game to go above 480p in resolution. So unfortunately it will probably end up being that on YouTube as well. Even though I'm currently got this at full screen on a 1080 monitor it will not record as that. It will only record at 480, so I do apologise for that, but I so far I'm struggling to find any resolution on how to fix this problem, but such is the way. So, we shall start a new game, so I can show you the beginning and where you pick your character, and the general setup for the story and whatnot. So, let's get straight to it. Uh, yes, I would like to use mouse support. And Between the difficulties, casual, recommended for players that want to play through the game. Bold recommended for experienced players. Uh, the intended difficulty of the game. And nightmarish level. Well, since this is probably only going to be a one-off, I'll just do bold for now. Or should we just do casual so we can get through it quick? We'll do casual so we can get through it quick. If this is something you're interested in, then obviously you can have a... Uh, you can go to whatever difficulty you want. Uh, no, I don't need the basic combat things. I've already briefly gone through these. Uh, we'll skip the opening cinematic for now. I'll leave that for people that want to see that because it's a little bit lengthy and uh, I want to just get, try and get straight to it if we can. So we get to select one of four characters to be our main character. So we have, uh, should we go for a tanky character first? Sure, let's go for this fella. And get the sword and shield out. Knight's always a pretty, pretty standard one to have for a main character. So we shall have this fella. Let's just move that out of the way a minute. There we go. And for our second character, what are you? Mysterious Witch with powerful control of dark magics. Sure, why not? The caster's always good for a secondary. So, from what I understand, the story changes ever so slightly based on which character you pick. So hopefully we'll get to see that in action. So... Who's there? Show yourself. Hold your blade, soldiers. I'm not your enemy. Who are you? State your business. I'm Sir Lucian of the House Lightfellow. I came in peace from the Duke of Remney. I request an entry, brave soldiers, to the Reglia Empire. Sure, well, we'll just get through all this. The usual kind of let me into the area. If you want to read this, you can quickly pause it and read through it. But uh, I want to try and actually show some of the actual more interesting parts of the gameplay rather than just story. So, yes, 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 let me through. Come on. Yep. Right. So, let's go and have a quick walk around. Now, <coughs> this is pretty much where I've played up to, and all I know is that I need to go and talk to pretty much everyone. So, again, I'll quickly get through some of these. Um, and if, it's, if you're interested in reading through what the story's kind of going to be like, I'll let you um, read through what you need to read through. Save me trying to do terrible voices and, and whatnot. Aha! This is going to be more interesting. And... Let's try and buy something if we can. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Nothing really impressive for now. Stories progress. It'll get better. Armor types are four types of armor. Characters wear. General, light, heavy, and magic. He stops its own perfect and drawbacks. Uh, general wear provides adequate protection, but gives neither bonuses nor penalties for wearing them. Line provides so-so defense and reduces cooldowns. Light headgear, so-so defense, magic wear. Heavy, it's probably more what we're going to be ended up going towards. Uh, okay, right. So, I'm guessing at the minute you haven't really got much. So, 
They've got some things that are better than what I'm using. Let's just quickly... I get the feeling that upgrading the sword would actually be quite good. So let's just do that. Uh, now, let's... Uh, optimise. There you go. Same as the old, proper old classes where you can just click optimise and it'll just do most of it for you based on what's best. Okay, let's talk to the next person. So, I don't think there's that many more people left. So hopefully we, I can try and get to some combat. And I can show you what that's all about. They're all gone. I'm sure they are. Uh, I've got to talk to you guards. Uh, I think there's another one here. Is that it? Yep, I think that's us done. We should be able to carry on now. I must first gather information before going anywhere. Okay, so we need more information. Uh, let's... Quest updated. Does that mean I can now carry on? Yep, yeah, right, okay. So let's talk to our little sidekick. Oh, if you're not my psychic yet. This is a memory orb. Do you wish to record your journey? Sure. So, good old fashioned save stations. Or save points, should I say. So, this was the guy we were looking for. And so there is some very so far there's some very slight story changes in the text based on which character you're playing as. Uh, da 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 da. So, right, so now you're interested in uh, joining me. Okay. Uh, the Corridor of Origins. You must now access a mysterious place called the Corridor of Origins. Press A, default it on your keyboard to access the Corridor of Origins. Primary platform if you wish to access your main character. Yay, we leveled up. Sweet. Right, so now... Sure, let's give this a go. Welcome to the current in this room where uh, uh, skills like Donut and Active Your Crazy Partner can learn new skills. Oh, so this is where you come to actually gain your skills and whatnot. Okay. Okay. Alright, so that's the reset. No. Uh, right, let's see what we got. Holy Bolt, pierce one enemy with magic arrow of pure light. No. That doesn't sound quite like what I'm looking for. Mend. Now that would be very nice for me. Sure, I will take that. Okay. So that's how I earn my skills then. Right, we don't want that yet. What about this one? Shield back now, we definitely want that. Yep, need it in my life. It looks like I'm actually allowed to go for these. Uh, not strong enough to kindle that one. What about this one? No, not yet. Well, I won't spend too many more. Now, we should be able to just leave now. Okay, let's carry on. It's strong suggested that you visit. Yeah, it'll be fine. We're only on casual. It should be cool. I only want to do a, a quick bit of. Uh... Do you wish to use a portal? Yes. I want to make a quick bit of combat so we can take check that out. Ah, portals and keys. We now enter this dirty realm of dark end. 
Uh, okay, so we need magic keys. To be in the boss floor, finding each chest, we've surely got a magic key. Normal round floor boss, only with common sides. And floor bosses. Sure, we'll just go for it and see what we do. Here we go. Been ambushed. Oh good. That's a good fight. Special. Can't use that. Fine. So we will attack the rocking slap. And he evaded. Do you have any special? No, we can buy you any. Well, you might have magic actually. No, no you don't. Actually bought some. Oh well. Fine. Oh, actually, oh no. There we go. Nice and straightforward. I say, if it's going to be fairly hard, I've picked casual for a reason, just so that we can get through this fairly rapidly, so you can generally see what the combat and that kind of nature would be like. So, I should be able to mend my face, correct? There we go. And she can absolutely wreck face, hopefully. Drop. And that's good. Bit. There we go. We're getting a bit of loot and money and all that kind of nature from this. Right. Oop. Now, isn't this the floor, boss? I believe it is. Right, I need to heal myself really badly. Should be able to take a little bit more. Oh, maybe that wasn't the floor boss then. Bond's key was found. Well, we got the key, so it must have been something. To say, it's probably just because it's casual, so. It's literally just for getting through the game, it seems. And. Make sure that's dead. There we go. So the combat's pretty straightforward, if you've ever played a classic RPG you're generally going to know exactly what you're at pretty much straight away, which is cool. So now, I need to heal him again, good thing I bought men, Jesus. So, get the last few to put down, there we go. I'll try and finish this section if we can. We've got the key, so we can't be far. There we go. That should now just require a key to get through here, yes. Yes. So that would advance us further into the dungeon. Cool, so then we come out to the next area. And a preemptive chance. Oh, so I managed to get a sneak attack on that one. Oh god, most of us are nearly dead because of the poison. I'm going to have to see in my, if I've got anything in my inventory that will let me cure that, because this is going to become a problem otherwise. Uh, yeah, it's going to become a major problem because I can no longer heal. That poison severely messed us up. I'll have to see if I've got anything in my inventory that can uh, sort that out. Hopefully we have. Let's find out. Uh, items, magic water, cover from death, treats poison, we've got loads. There we go. And let's just quickly get them some health. There we go. Can we save anywhere since it says save? It looks like you actually can not. Okay. <laughs> right, well that's been a little look at Dead End. It's available on Steam if it's something you think you'd be interested in, then it's a pretty cool little 2D RPG. So, thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy this, leave me a like, drop me comments, all that kind of stuff. And hopefully I will see you soon. Bye-bye.